we've inherited in our schools a public school system that for many, many years, I think did exactly what it was supposed to do. Ensure some kids learned and then offered other kids an opportunity to learn if they wanted. How do we get people to actually change their policies, their practices, their procedures, so that what we know works actually happens? And that's the change we're talking about. It might be change in the form of instructional delivery. It might be change in the way that we assess. It might be change in the way that we have schedules. But all we know is that if people don't embrace these changes, then we're gonna run into a real problem with regard to not producing what we're supposed to be producing today. So the book addresses the way in which we are going to ensure as leaders that those people expected to carry out change initiatives actually know how to do that. When we look at the evidence on why teachers leave and why schools are not progressive, often it's because of poor leadership that doesn't have a positive influence on the school culture and the educational program. So this book is more urgent today than it's ever been because the stakes are higher than they've ever been and the conditions are more extreme now than we've experienced in a very long time. Our goal for this book was to provide leaders with the tools to bring the best out of both their faculty and their students so that we can produce the type of environment where no matter where we live, we'd be pleased to send our child to the local school. One thing has become very clear about leadership. It can no longer be synonymous with just administration. One of the things that our teachers have a moral imperative toward is helping their kids be more successful. So if helping all kids be more successful means I gotta work with other people and convince them that there are some proven strategies that we can use, then that's called leadership, whether you have the title or not. So a transformational leader is a person who recognizes that my success is based upon my ability to influence your success. And I can't be successful if you're not successful. So the entire book focuses on the things we do as transformational leaders to address both rational reasons why people will resist and irrational reasons why people resist. The why, who, how, do. We know that strategies alone, they don't implement themselves. Human beings have to do this. So if we can improve the morale, the commitment, the collaboration of the adults in school environments, strategies like PLC at work have a fighting chance to be effective.